Since the 1990s, Airbus and Boeing have competed as a duopoly in the large jet airliner market. This situation emerged from a series of mergers and exits in the aerospace industry. Airbus began as a pan-European consortium, while Boeing strengthened its position by merging with McDonnell Douglas in 1997. Other major players like Lockheed Martin, Convair, British Aerospace, now BA Systems, and Fokker were unable to maintain their competitive edge. They exited the market, leaving Airbus and Boeing as the dominant forces. Despite recent challenges faced by Boeing, particularly with its 737 MAX, Airbus has not managed to decisively win the battle against its American rival. Several factors contribute to this ongoing competition. Both Airbus and Boeing are grappling with supply chain and production challenges that limit their ability to rapidly increase output despite strong demand. Airbus has a substantial backlog of over 8,600 orders to fulfill, and the industry's supply chains are operating at maximum capacity. These constraints prevent Airbus from significantly outpacing Boeing in production and delivery rates. While Airbus has outperformed Boeing in recent years, Boeing still maintains a large backlog of over 5,660 commercial plane orders. This substantial amount of business ensures that Boeing remains a strong competitor in the market despite recent setbacks. Airbus's ability to fully exploit Boeing's issues, such as the 737 MAX problems, is restricted due to industry-wide manufacturing constraints. Airbus cannot easily ramp up production to seize Boeing's customers as it faces its own capacity limitations. The long-running trade dispute between Airbus and Boeing, with both sides accusing the other of receiving unfair government subsidies, has created uncertainty and challenges for both companies. These disputes have led to tariffs and legal battles, potentially impacting sales and market share for both manufacturers. Despite facing significant challenges, Boeing has shown resilience in maintaining its market position. The company's strong presence in the defense and space sectors provides additional stability, allowing it to weather difficulties in its commercial aircraft division. Both companies have traditional strongholds in different regions. While Airbus has a strong presence in Europe and parts of Asia, Boeing maintains a robust market share in North America and other key markets. This regional diversity helps maintain the competitive balance between the two manufacturers. While Airbus has made significant gains in recent years, it has not definitively won the battle against Boeing. The aerospace industry's complexities, manufacturing limitations, and the resilience of both companies ensure that the competition remains fierce. As the industry continues to evolve, both Airbus and Boeing will likely remain locked in a close race for market dominance in the foreseeable future. Now, why do you think Airbus has not been able to take advantage of market share while Boeing grapples with its issues? Let us know in the comments. We bring you some good information on aerospace. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.